The parents of a teen murdered by her ex-boyfriend want lawmakers to educate kids about dating violence. They told 22 News State House reporter Christine Lee they're trying to save other parents the pain of losing a daughter to deadly violence. Lauren Dunn Astley was a beautiful and talented singer. Her boyfriend, the high school football star. On the outside, they seem like the picture-perfect couple, but appearances can be deceiving. The parents of Lauren Dunn Astley are asking state lawmakers to support legislation that would mandate sexual education and violence prevention programs in Massachusetts schools. Their daughter's boyfriend of three years was convicted of killing Lauren after she tried to break up with him. Kids need a, a lot of training in what is one of the most painful parts of being a human, and that is having a, an intimate relationship come to an end. We can provide them with support and tools and ways to cope with and to be ready for the jolts of breaking up. Lauren's mother, Mary Dunn, also says parents can spot the warning signs in their children's relationships. Lauren's friends did not like her boyfriend. Lauren's boyfriend did not come to our homes on a regular basis. I don't think there was true violence in her relationship, but there certainly was when it was over. Under the legislation, students of all grade levels would learn about teen dating violence and skills needed to approach attackers or assist victims. But with hundreds of education laws to consider, getting the legislation approved will be difficult. What we're trying to do is prevent this from happening again and change the culture before it recurs. It's challenging, I know, for the chairwomen to single out one particular issue and say, yes, we're going to allow this curriculum change to happen on this particular issue. Lauren's former boyfriend, Nathaniel Fujita, was sentenced to life in prison without parole in March. Live at the State House, Christine Lee, 22 News.